I'm talking to Todd from Southern Bricks, and I'm gonna let him introduce his mock. I'm Todd, as you said, and I've made a Marvel tribute museum. Basically took my love for Marvel and then just went nuts. <laughs> Threw in as many movie references as possible, little Easter eggs here and there for the casual observer, but also for the hardcore fans. Can you describe a little bit of um, how, you know, your inspiration, first of all, and then take us through the actual mock? Yeah, so uh, the inspiration was I, I love the Marvel movies. I watched the Marvel TV shows as a kid, and I've built a few Marvel mocks over the last few years, like a Battle of Wakanda and a Spider-Man Streetscape. Kept a few trinkets, and I sort of wanted a, a big showing of what it could all be together and... I thought a museum, a tribute museum, would probably be the best way to go. Yeah. To get as many different Marvel things without having to create 60 miles. Like, look at the detail around this. So, so what are some of these scenes here? So we've got Black Panther, the yeah. the final fight in the mines in Wakanda. And we've got Iron Man, the signature coming out of the cave in his original suit, blowing Iron Man the one. terrorists all to hell. Yeah. And then we've got a bit of friend from work with. Ragnarok, probably my favourite Hulk scene I reckon of all time. Yeah. Into Steve Rogers transformation chamber from Captain America, the first Avenger. Yeah. Let's go down this way. Probably my the heartstring stuff down in here. We've got the Soul Stone. We've got oh. our friend Red Skull delivering the bad oh. news that one of them's going to die if you want the stone. Yeah. Which is pretty fun. I miss Natasha into through the main plaza we've got an arc reactor and a fusion reactor from the spider-man 2 into a hall of heroes with all the costumes of everybody there left and right sort of going from the first six avengers through to some part players along the way we go across to a bit of wakanda which if you, get, if you can get inside the mine the the blue is all lit up inside to show the vibranium that they're collecting. Why not? Down to a bit of Captain America Civil War. They're all fight Cap's fighting to protect Bucky, keep him safe. Oh, Bucky on the ground there. Yeah. <laughs> Into a bit of Black Widow standalone movie, because he's fighting their way out the prison with Red Guardian. We've got. Scarlet Witch, really annoyed that Thanos doesn't even know who she is. A bit disappointing from him. We've got Ant-Man coming out the quantum jumper out the back of his van with the hero of the story, the rat, obviously, who let him oh, out. Oh, yeah. We've got Book of Ashanti from, Spa, from Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. And we head across into the cafeteria where good old Tobey Maguire's saving the day from making sure the train line doesn't come out into the cafe. Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Now we, hit, now we hit my childhood wing. We've got yeah, the 90s, okay. 90s Spidey TV show, which I've never let to leave the, home The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, The Amazing Spider-Man. Into probably my personal favourite is X-Men, which I really hope to get more With the of yellow in the future. Suit. Yeah. So a bit of Danger Room training. Oh, Jubilee. Jubilee. Deadpool, Deadpool breaking the Deadpool. fourth wall, of course. Yep. That's not just Howie Wells. <laughs> and we move into a first Avengers movie, <laughs> Cooney God. You really actually are an encyclopedia for all things oh, yeah. Marvel. Probably my favourite thing though in the Marvel is that down the back you've got a uh, build your own infinity gauntlet. Oh. You can choose your stones, oh. you can just purchase what you want from the gift shop. Whoa! I actually didn't notice this the first time I was looking. Look at all those masks. Okay. Cool. Um, so how long, Todd, did it take you to build this? Um, it's been a year. Yeah. Uh, I estimated today, I'd, I'd, it, there'd have to be about probably 500 hours. 500, say, yeah. To get it done. Yeah. You're from Adelaide? Yeah, from Adelaide. Drove all the way here to Melbourne and um, had to assemble this. And it took a bit of time, actually, to get everything set up. But impressed how short of an amount of time it took. Yeah, only about four hours, which is not too bad. There wasn't too much destroyed in the car on the way around, yeah, yeah. which is always handy. Cool. Well, anyways, enjoy Frickvention, and thanks, thanks for much. this interview. Cheers.